like I told y'all before, we are in a frequency war. I'm watching the news the other day, right? Just trying to peep what's going on around the world. And I see Wyandotte, Michigan, the school over there, them put up a 5G tower over the fucking playground. <laughs> Literally, right over the playground, as it stays here. <clears throat> Wyandotte, Michigan, Fox 2, a new 5G cell tower being built atop a Wyandotte Elementary School has some parents questioning the placement. The tower at George Washington Elementary School is near the playground. The school district entered into an agreement with T-Mobile and will get paid monthly for having a motherfucking tower, y'all. Like, are y'all fucking serious? Like, over time, do you know what the electromagnetic radiation and the frequency is going to do to them kids? This can cause skin cancer, cell disease, neurological issues. Like, are y'all fucking serious, man? And this is the reason I study subatomic particles, uh, particle physics, quantum physics, all of that different shit, because we need to understand exactly how this shit is affecting our energy and affecting us physically on a scientific level, not just based off what you heard somebody else saying. You need to understand this shit yourself. So y'all know I went digging and did a little bit more research just to give y'all a better insight on this shit, right? So in 2017, doctors and scientists launched a petition to stop the rollout of 5G, citing cancer risk. One worry that is since 5G is so new, there hasn't been time to properly test whether it's safe or not. There's also a lack of scientific analysis on the potential impact of densely concentrated areas of 5G in populated cities or on chronic 5G exposure. But yet, <laughs> you got these wicked satanic public officials making a deal with T-Mobile to put this shit right on top of a school over a playground. Like the shit don't get more blatant than this, they don't care. Peep game even states here, the distance needed to reduce exposure down to the general public precautionary level of 100 microwatts per meter square is often around a quarter mile around 1300 feet or 400 meters or more. This motherfucker don't look like it's 400 meters away from the kids. This is right on top of the school. These kids will be exposed to this radiation five days a week, year round. 